So I was like, why did they name the movie Nope? So in the movie Nope, y'all are going to love this. You won't believe it. In the movie Nope, they feature the white horse, the red horse, and the black horse. All from the book of Revelation. The four horses, of course. The third one being the pale. So there's your white horse. This is just in the trailer they give you the horses. You don't have to watch the whole movie. He's got a red horse on his black hat. But there's your white horse. I'll pause. Hang on. Now right here, of course, white horse, storm's coming. And remember the Trump people said Trump is the storm, right? Because he's going to, you know, he's going to whoop everybody into shape, you know, get rid of all the bad guys. So he's, he's Batman. He's fighting crime of all the bad guys. And um, and Trump said, you know, when he's standing with his military, maybe this is just the calm before the storm. And so storms coming is in tons of movies. The phrase storms coming. 007's done it. He said it. Batman said it. So you can you can see the storm coming white horse. And again, white horse. Now the white horse is running. So that means he's down, right? The Antichrist has taken his deadly wound and given his crown. All right, after that, they tell you this summer. That just could be a part of the PSYOP. We do definitely think it's 2022, though. So also in the preview, of course, they give you like the skeletons. But the final trailer is what I saw for Top Gun Maverick and just saw it again. And this one gives you the rest of the horses. So here's your red horse for war. That's the second horse. That's, as soon as he goes down, you're going to kick off World War III, just like what kicked off World War I, the assassination of Franz Ferdinand, which was in the movie. That's what the movie The King's Man was about. That had the exact same ending as No Time to Die because The King's Man and 007 actually the same person so they're always repping the same person who's the antichrist all the time so let me, let me show you the black horse here so you got white horse red horse so far right and they give you the right eye utterly darkened wound straight out of zachariah eleven seventeen. of course november 17th will be a big day too Nothing happens until then. But uh, so, but we do know from Zechariah 11, 17, it will be his right eye. And will we know it now? Maybe we won't know it until he returns at the abomination of desolation. If you've lived through World War III, which one out of four people won't. But let's get to that black horse. Now, this is the same director that did the movie Get Out. Right, telling you to get out. Now he's saying, Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh -huh. And of course, the skeleton type face. So they've given you white horse, red horse, and there's your black horse. Or your black horse. So the big question is, why do they call it nope? And you saw that 722, right? Nope. Excuse me, nope, 722, right? Well, uh, speaking of storms coming, good grief. 
But I said to myself, why are they calling this movie Nope? And then I saw 722. 72222. 722, I saw. And I was like, oh. Let's go back to that passage of Daniel 7. Remember. Trump Tower has five multiple addresses, 721 through 725 Fifth Avenue. And you key that in and they give you. Trump Tower is a 58 floor, 664 foot tall mixed use skyscraper at 721 to 725 Fifth Avenue in the Midtown Manhattan neighborhood of New York City between East 56th and 57th Streets. So they're giving you five multiple addresses at Trump Tower which just happened to match the passage of Daniel 7, 21 through 7, 25, which is, begins with the horn in 7, 21. And as it speaks about the horn, it begins with made war with the saints, because that's what he will do at the abomination of desolation when he has returned from the dead and all the world will worship they will be handed over spiritually to believing that he is truly here to save the earth. Which if, when you watch most all of these movies, that's the theme of everything. Thor, just it doesn't matter. It's always the same thing. Superman, Batman, the Dark Knight, saving Gotham, saving the earth. Gotham means lands where goats dwell so 721 begins with made war with the saints and ends with shall wear out the saints of the most high okay so and that's his job it's to purge the church and we've shown you that in daniel eleven thirty five 35 that that's what the great tribulation is for because i've told you most all sheep on this earth are lost and they will come from all different types of religions, belief systems, atheism, Middle Eastern, Far Eastern, uh, Catholic, you know, the fake Protestant of today that believes in free will and celebrates Christmas, all that. They'll come from all over. Every religion will get the call. The rest of the world will not. They will worship the beast. And then that their bodies will be taken over. And that's what the superhero movies are about. But that's another story for another day. But so you see where it begins and ends with shall wear out the saints. So this whole Daniel 7 is about the horn. And uh, I can show you. Let's go to Daniel 7 just in general. Make sure I'm logged in. I am. There comes a storm. Oof, boy, it sounds rough out there. So you see the little horn right there, and that's talking about the Antichrist. And in this horn, eyes like a man and a mouth speaking great things, you know, make America great again. Then it goes to the Ancient of Days. It goes back and forth. Great, her great words that the horn spake. And, um, and it talks about Jesus coming in the cloud. So it's back and forth. Antichrist, God wins. Back and forth. Antichrist, uh, God wins. Antichrist, God wins. It's back and forth. And the horn had eyes. So we're back to the horn again in and, and, and 20. And then you get to the horn, made war with the saints in, in 21. Well, look what 22 is, 722. Now remember, it's 721 through 725 Fifth Avenue, right? That's his address, and that's the passage of Daniel 7 specific. That is his address at Trump Tower. And... The reason why nope, okay, why do they, why do they call it nope? Because there's, and, it, and it's released on 722, because they're saying nope. Because when it says made war, the horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. And then it says, until the ancient of days, which is God, came and judgment was given to the saints of the most high. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. And they're saying, nope. That's what they're saying. Nope. 
that ain't going to happen. And that's what they think. So it's released on 722 from the passage 722, uh, excuse me, for, for the verse 722 from the passage 721 through 725. And that's what that's all about. And besides, nope, his other movie is Get Out. And us, and look at the right eye symbolism in us. So, um, yeah, this Jordan Peele, you know, the AI writes the scripts. The AI is what gives you it. The AI will computer animate for the director exactly how to shoot a movie. It'll write the movie for them. And then these directors get all the credit, you know, and so forth. But the AI is writing these, these stories for you. And so you're right here at the very end times. And um, congratulations. All we're waiting on is that deadly wound event, right? And here's more red horse, black horse symbolism back there in the movie trailer. And more white horse symbolism. Here, I think we get a definitive look about the black horse. So I just want to make sure we got all the colors in there. All right. Love you all very much.